Hello and welcome to this special episode about the barcode generator from Opticon. We are focusing today on the GS1 barcodes. Now, if you already know what GS1 data bars are, then you will know that they can get quite complicated, but they are extremely useful because GS1 data bars allow you to store a lot of information about a product. For instance, if you have a production facility and you have items that are produced at a certain date and you want to make sure that that information is carried on to another location, you can put that in a GS1 data bar and store the code in there. So, GS1 works with application identifiers and uh, the gs1.org website has a complete list of all of them. There are a lot. So let's take a look at, for instance, the production date. And production date says, okay, that is application identifier number 11. And after those uh, two numbers for what the uh, application identifier is come a six numbered digits, which correspond with year, year, month, month, day, day. So if I want to type that in, I say this is application identifier number 11 and then year and month and day and I can generate the code. Now I can also type in more information and it will say, uh, okay, that's an invalid data length for the application number 11. And if I were to switch around the month and the day and I say it's the 12th of the 31st month, it will also say, yeah, that's, that's invalid. Uh, you say month 31, there are no 31 months in a year. So there is a bit of error checking in there. You can also expand it with another code, for instance, uh, here, a serial number, which is something that your own company might use. And it says, well, there are two digits for the application identifier, and then an X amount of other digits and letters, uh, 20 in total, or 20 max, you can also use fewer. So that was uh, identifier number 21. So I can type in 21, and this is internal product code 01234567891. And I can generate the code, and here at the bottom you see that entire code. Now the GS1 data bar allows for a lot of complex information to be sent from one uh, to the next. So if you have more questions about the specifics or you need more information, you can always contact Opticon. The contact information is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.